Hey survivors, another video for you. Please like, share your thoughts in the comments. Click the subscribe button underneath the video if you haven't subscribed yet. Share the video with anyone who you believe may help. If you would like to donate, you can make a donation by clicking the dollar sign icon in the live chat. Or you can donate from my PayPal. The link is in the video description. If you are interested in a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, please send me an email, which you can also find in the video description. In this video, I am going to be talking about why you should leave the narcissist. There are two types of people in this world. People who bring you up and people who bring you down. There is no in between. You cannot interact with a person and then stay at the same level or even the same emotional vibrational frequency. When you interact with a person, it will affect you in some way. You need to recognize whether this person is lifting you up or bringing you down. If this person is not serving you, you may have to let them go. They cannot go with you on your healing journey as they will only hold you back from achieving your true potential. Narcissists are the type of people that will bring you down. The longer you are around them, they will bring you down lower and lower until you are beneath them and then they will leave you. Keep this in mind. You might as well leave now while you can. Take what energy you still have and leave before they take the rest and leave you. You can take that energy and get a head start on your healing journey. Redevelop the qualities and talents you once had and use them to attract someone who will appreciate them. You are still with a narcissist because you believe that this relationship is somehow benefiting you in some way. But if you look at what you are dealing with, you will find that the majority of what you are dealing with is abuse and manipulation. You might get a short break from the abuse and then you suddenly start to believe that maybe they aren't so bad. You need to stay in touch with your own thoughts and feelings. Identify how this relationship is making you feel. Do you feel happy in this relationship? Is it serving you? You may have talked to other people about how the narcissist treats you and they don't really understand what's going on. This could make you think that maybe there is something wrong with you, like the narcissist said, and then that causes you to stay with them in a trauma bond. You need to stay in touch with your own thoughts and feelings. Validate yourself and your own experience in this relationship. The narcissist is not going to validate you. They are not going to validate what you have experienced with them in the relationship. They already have a bag of tricks, manipulative tactics ready for when you decide to confront them about how they are treating you. Denial, projection, blame shifting and gaslighting. Denying your thoughts, feelings and beliefs. Denying any responsibility or accountability for their actions. Projecting their intense negative emotions onto you. Shifting the blame onto you. Manipulating you into doubting your own thoughts, feelings and beliefs, your own sanity. You are not going to get any closure from the narcissist. The relationship is not going to improve. It only gets worse as your energy and potency of narcissistic supply continues to decrease. All of this affects your psychological, emotional and even physical health. Over time you will become the emotionally unstable person they once labelled you as. They will then exaggerate this as though you are completely insane 
And when they are telling you this all day every day, soon enough you are going to begin to believe it. Whenever you feel like the narcissist isn't so bad, and maybe if you stay with them things will improve, you are enabling the abuse and manipulation to continue. You will, uh, you will experience more stress, anxiety and depression. You will have to deal with their intense negative emotions of hate, anger, envy and jealousy. They will continue to exploit and hum humiliate you. They will completely dehumanize you. If they see that you are thinking of leaving them, they will give you a taste of the love bombing phase again, only because they are afraid of their narcissistic supply escaping. But you need to understand that it's just a trick to make you stay. Once they know that you are not going anywhere, the abuse and manipulation will continue as before. They will control every aspect of your life, friends, relationships, career, money, hobbies and interests. Continuing the relationship will further lower your self-esteem, self-worth, self-assurance, self-belief and self-respect. Once they have extracted all of their narcissistic supply and you are completely broken down, they will then leave you at the lowest point in your life. Narcissists are known to betray the people closest to them. They don't care about you. They are self-absorbed and lack empathy. They only care about their own needs. And they use people to fulfill their needs. They do not love you. They do not care about you. They never did and they never will. But they will try every trick in the book to make you believe that this could be a possibility in the future. Narcissists like the future fake, but they have no thought in their minds of how they are going to manifest anything you want. All of their work goes into creating illusions, just making you believe that they are something great. But forget about what they are telling you. Look at their actions, look at their lives. The longer you stay with a narcissist, the more it is going to affect you and the longer it is going to take for you to recover from narcissistic abuse. It will completely drain you of your personality. They will change your personality. When you met them, maybe you weren't as confident as you could have been or your life wasn't as great as you wished it was, but you had a certain level of self-worth, self-esteem, self-assurance, self-belief and self-respect. Notice how that has now changed from being in a relationship with a narcissist. You no longer believe in your positive traits or talents. You went from seeing yourself as a person of value to feeling worthless. You are now going to the narcissist for reassurance rather than trusting your own judgment. Because you no longer believe in yourself. You no longer believe that you deserve to be respected. Start believing in yourself. Start respecting yourself. Realize that this relationship is not serving you. It's not making you feel good. It's not improving your life in any way. Remember the person you used to be before you met the narcissist. What would they think about your situation? What would they tell you to do? The longer you stay with a narcissist, the more it will affect your judgment and trust. You will no longer remember who you are. You will no longer be able to trust anyone or function in a social setting with other people. This is all intentional by the narcissist. They do not want you to move on, meet other people and live a fulfilling life. That's the last thing they want to see you doing because they cannot get the same fulfillment. They have this addiction to people and yet no matter how many people they see or talk to, it never fulfills them. The narcissist is like a bucket with a leak. 
no amount of attention, validation, approval or admiration could ever fulfill them. The narcissist also makes you addicted to them. They make you chase after their attention, validation, approval or admiration because they know how psychology works. They know that their type of personality attracts a person who is codependent or self-love deficient. Your worth is based on what you can give to someone. If they do not allow you to give to them, this is going to affect your worth. This is going to affect how much you believe in yourself. And so you will continue to return to the narcissist, doing whatever you can to please them, because you need that validation. You need that validation to know that you are worth something. The narcissist leaves you to chase that because they know that once you receive it, you will then start to remember who you are and then they will lose their power and control over the situation. You need to recognize that from the beginning, there was no value or genuineness in this relationship. You are chasing something that doesn't even exist. It was an illusion displayed to you in an attempt to lure you into a relationship for the sole purpose of fulfilling the narcissist's needs. Detach your feelings away from them. They used your feelings to get you hooked on them, to create this addiction, so that you would stay attached to them and provide more of your qualities, talents and energy to the narcissist. Your feelings are not the truth. Truth comes from logic. You need to observe this person and the relationship from a logical perspective. Learn to validate yourself. Practice mindfulness and guided meditation and learn to heal the childhood traumas which led you to being involved with this type of individual. Check my playlist of videos on healing from narcissistic abuse. Have the belief that you can overcome this. This vulnerability or weakness that you are experiencing right now is the tool you need to find the strength that you have never had before. Believe that you can recover from narcissistic abuse. Take action and follow my healing techniques and then it will only be a matter of time until you are better than you were before you met the narcissist. You will then observe your relationship and experiences with this person and wonder what you ever saw in them. You will wonder how you could ever be attracted to a person who deeply hates themselves yet const constantly projects their emotions onto you. You will wonder why you gave everything to someone who gave nothing to you in return. Someone who expected you to give up everything to be their nothing. Remember, you do not deserve to be treated this way. You do not deserve to be abused or manipulated. You deserve to be treated with love and respect. And once you heal from this, you can attract a person who will treat you with love and respect. A person who will give you everything you could only dream of or fantasize about with a narcissist. The narcissist may have never respected you but they will have to respect your choice to leave. You will be the person who they remember when they are old. That person who they could never forget. The person they never treated right because they thought they were worthless or useless. When the narcissist gets old, they soon realize that you are everything they needed while they were too busy chasing their narcissistic supply. Ever wonder why certain people always hold on to the person they met when they were a teenager? You have probably heard your grandparents talking about how they met someone when they were young, but at the time they couldn't see the value of that person, the one that got away. 
a person who loved and respected them, but they took them for granted. That's who you become to the narcissist in time. But don't worry about them, move on with your life. Find someone who will love and respect you. Then let them watch that. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has read it, resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. I will talk to you in another video very soon.